Today, I'm gonna show you guys how to clean a yellow perch, and we are gonna peel the skin off a yellow perch. You guys ready? Let's go. So the first thing you wanna do is make sure your yellow perch is dead. You wanna bleed it, and then you wanna wipe off as much time as possible as it's easier to work with. Then, what you wanna do is make some incisions. We want the incision on the top of the back of the entire dorsal fin. Now, they have some hard scales, so it's kinda hard for you to stick it through, go in this direction. So what I like to do is make an incision, stab, going the opposite way. This small one, this will start you off. Then you can stick your fillet knife through the back from the beginning to the end of the dorsal fin. Approximately half inch in. Do the same thing on the other side. Alright, from there, what you want to do is you want to grab the dorsal fin from the end and peel it off. You might find it easier if you want to use a towel. So once you get started, you use a paper towel or if you have gloves on, it makes everything easier. Just pull the whole thing off. And there you have it. Dorsal fin removed. Now from here, you need to peel it. So you stick your thumb through the back start peeling against the skin. I like to put the force into the skin and then lightly peel the flesh off from the skin. Do the same thing on the other side. And you want to do it relatively towards the head of the fish. You can peel more of it if you want to. It makes it easier in the long run. But the goal here is to have enough room so that you stick your thumb and your index finger around the belly near the head. Okay, see where I'm pointing at? The gills, the gill plate. Now, take your both index and thumb finger and stick it through and start digging towards the rib cage. And once you get your finger around it, you stick it through, get a good grip, and you snap the spine off, just like that. Then you stick your thumb into the body and you get just hold on tight and peel just like this. Then you start working towards the back of the tail. Once you get the majority of the whole thing, you just grab it and rip the whole skin right off the end of the tail, just like this. And there you have it. The first part done. You can see all the organs right in there, and you got some eggs. Make sure you save the eggs. And then from here, you just pull the anal fin out very easy. You don't need to do any more slicing and dicing. If you bled your fish, you can see how clean the captivity is right here. You cook the fish whole if your recipe calls for it from here, but from your original cut, you can see that it's already started on a fillet job. You can just fillet it and you'll be done. All right, let's take another look at it one more time. As you see, the peeling part right here, you just peel the dorsal fin after you did your initial slices. Very easy to peel off. From here, again, you just want to work your thumb through. Just like an envelope, you just want to take your time, get your finger in there first. Start from one side and work onto the other side. From here, as you see, I'm just stretching out the skin off the flesh. Get your fingers around the rib cage. Snap the body, grab a hold, and peel it off. Look at that. Again, don't forget to save the eggs. And again, here you go. Depending how deep you cut originally, the fillet job have already been started. And all you have to do is take your fillet knife and just finish the job. What I like to do is cut through the top part then the bottom part near the tail. I don't cut through the rib cage because it's actually very hard to cut through around the rib cage. 
So what I do is I leave it up to here just like this. Then I'm using my thumb, I finesse through. Just basically rip the flesh right off the rib cage. The back part is a little thinner, so it may break. So work the flesh from the top as the bone's a little thicker. Few for bones, but there you have it. Boneless fillets. Take a look at that. What do you guys think, huh? Look at that. Not much meat up there. There's a little piece on the top which you guys could cut off. All the organs in there. Boneless fillets. You guys want to just double check, make sure there's no bones on there. There is some flesh around the dorsal fin, so you can use it to make some fish broth. Same goes with the carcass. Most of the meat is gone besides the hard to get ones around the rib cage. My family like to make fish broth by first cooking the bones on a pan with some oil. By doing this step before throwing the fish into a pot of water, it will yield into a nice white color fish broth. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you guys have some awesome recipes for cooking yellow perch or perch roe, feel free to drop it in the comments below. Tight lines guys.